Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. You know, I think it's a great time to be a fish in a, in a conscientious fish keepers aquarium. And there's just so many uh, things available now that were simply not available before. And I have at, at least three or four of them that come to mind immediately. The first one is knowledge. Such a wealth of knowledge out there where before you'd pick up some tips from fellow fish keepers, maybe from the local fish store owner. Uh, now we have thousands, thousands of, of resources available on the internet from uh, looking up articles and research to YouTubers and their videos. And it's just, just a wealth of information that was simply just not there before. Granted, you have to take it all with a grain of salt and you have to do your, your own research and come up with your own ideas and, and make up your own mind. At the end of the day though, it's a lot better than not, not having any information available. The second reason is that there's just so many options out there with filtration. We have hang on back filters, we have, uh, we have canister filters, we have internal filters, sponge filters, uh, we, ha we have sump systems. And these things are getting easier and easier and more affordable as time goes on. Uh, the internal filters I use, like the Expert Maddox, the She Says, uh, these things are, are, are actually in the realm of being affordable. My sump is a DIY sump, basically an aquarium that I picked up on sale with, with some large sponges. I mean, again, very aff affordable, very easy to maintain, not very complicated. Now, the last point, and probably the most important point, is the availability of quality nutrition. and. Of course, there are extremes in any field and in the area of nutrition. There are some folks who nothing is good enough for their fish except what they make themselves at home. My hat's off to those people. That's, that's something I admire, but I personally just don't have the time, inclination, or knowledge to do or a desire to pursue gaining that knowledge. So instead, what I do is I rely on companies that I trust. And I was recently sent uh, just a large cache of, of, of uh, of food and it got me thinking it is so cool that we have these companies out there that we trust that are doing research and coming up with products that are that are that are awesome you know you know that i love uh sarah this is sarah uh grant granured cichlid food sarah granured cichlid food exceptional food uh they're 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 catfish food these these, these little green uh discs my, 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 cat, my, my catfish, my quarries, my plecos, and even the fish go insane over these things. So, uh, and I know, I know this company puts a lot of time and money and effort into research, so they're giving us a good product. And not that long ago, uh, Sarah Food was, was nearly unaffordable. I mean, a small, a small container, something like, something like this, uh, would, would cost you, uh, you know, thirty dollars, thirty bucks in a, in a maybe a smaller container, and and these days it's not nearly as much. Uh, you also know, know that I love uh, extreme aquatics, extreme aquatics, and these are the foods that I tend to mix together. Uh, I, I watched a video a while back of somebody touring the farm of the person who came up with extreme aquatics, and whereas Sarah, every, it seems like a lot of it was lab based. Uh, with, with Extreme, a lot of it was continually tweaking and changing the formula uh, and comparing it to the results they were getting. And I'll never forget that video because they pulled a, uh, a, a Buchachromis notatania out of a tank and it looked like a saltwater fish. The colors were, were like spectacular. And that's, that's partly what made me a believer in e Extreme Foods. And so I love those. Now, recently, I've been doing some... Uh, uh, corresponding and some work with uh, Northfin up in Canada. Now, a while back, when you'd think of Northfin, you would think of cichlid food, uh, you know, African cichlid food in particular. Now, I, I, I get I get some samples from them. What do I have? They have they have marine packets. They have uh, a fry starter food, just a very fine food that you can put in for fry. They they have, of course, their classic cichlid food and they have community food. They have the, uh, a veggie, which is great for those fish, like your mabuna, and, and really a lot of your South 
uh, Central Americans, they, they love a little, a little veggie in their diet. One food that has me real excited from North Bend is what I got here in this tub. You know, I feed my fish frozen krill. The Africans uh, behind me here, these guys get, they get frozen krill and the South Americans in the tank next to me, the other fish, they get blood worms. But this is a krill flake from uh, North Bend. Take a look at it. Look at these pieces. And the fish just lose their minds over it. Even my real uh, picky, uh, my real picky green tear in my South and Central American 210 gallon tank will go after it and loves it. Uh, like most flake foods, it has the advantage that you can break it up and make it real fine so you can even feed it to your smaller fish. So I love the fact that these companies are spreading out. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're trying to reach different segments of the market, but they're bringing their approach, their quality and their commitment to quality. They're bringing that, up, that, they're bringing that to the, the, the fish food area. And, and that's why I think it's a great time it's a great time to be a fish keeper and a great time to be a fish in, in one of these aquariums because they're getting a, a, a variety of good quality food uh, from, from different, different manufacturers. Uh, this was something that even the representative from Sarah uh, agreed with me when we spoke that you, you really should mix things up because no, no one individual, no one company really understands everything there is to understand about the nutritional needs of every fish and so I like to mix things up and I love mixing up products from from companies I trust like Northfin, Sarah and Extreme and there's other ones out there too I've been using a lot of a lot of these uh, a lot of these products from Aquarium Co-op like their freeze-dried brine shrimp cubes great product another product that my fish go absolutely nuts over and uh, and and they just just devour it, right? And and uh, yeah. And again, even even my my, my pickiest eater, my green tear, uh, approves of this food. And he is the ultimate authority on uh, on fish food. He does isn't big on any of the pellets. Uh, he will eat uh, blood worms, but uh, but he, and he will eat the krill flakes. And he he loves the freeze dried brine shrimp and the tube effects worms. So uh, again, with this kind of variety, this kind of commitment to quality, uh, it, it's just a, a, a lot of fun feeding fish, a lot of fun uh, offering to them this kind of variety. There's no real reason to have a fish malnourished or undernourished in your aquarium. All right, so uh, that's my two cents. It's a good time to be a fish. Certainly a good time to be one of my fish because I, uh, I, I give them a, a, a nice, uh, a, uh, just a nice variety, which some of you might argue, oh, they're fish, do they even really notice? Uh, but uh, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. It gives them a good spectrum of vitamins and minerals. Now, one other thing I have been using, full disclosure, is I have become a believer in, uh, in using Vitachem. I use Vitachem in, uh, in, I was using it to help uh, improve the conditions in the 90 gallon for that uh, hole in the head disease that I was seeing, and I think it's helping. So I started adding it to all the tanks after I do water changes. And in the tank behind me, I do use uh, a, a Malawi salt, and that is a lake salt that contains uh, trace minerals. So um, I like to supplement a little bit of the, uh, of the minerals for the African cichlids. All right, so uh, I think we can provide for these fish just very, very, very good, good conditions, which as fish keepers, really we should strive to do. Okay, thank you my friends. Any comments, tips, ideas, share them below. You know, I like reading them. I don't always respond, but I do when I can, uh, or I feel it's warranted. And we'll talk about uh, fish food, filtration, and uh, everything else on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream at 11 a.m. Central, that's noon Eastern and 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. And if you'd like to support the channel, give this video a thumbs up, hit that bell, consider uh, subscribing to the channel, and also consider, if you'd like to, supporting the channel on a monthly basis as a Patreon supporter. It starts for as little as $3 a month, and it helps out much more than you know. Thank you, my friends. You're the best. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.